So for the cardiovascular examination in MDCN exam, most likely your patients will be normal with no cardiovascular abnormalities. But in case you pick up a murmur, the only thing you need to know is if a murmur is systolic and diastolic and you'll be able to describe the murmur. So how do you know which murmurs are systolic or diastolic? Well, you can follow a little trick that I like to use. So I like to consider murmurs occurring when they're basically not doing what they're supposed to do. Let's take an example using the mitral valve. In the cardiac cycle, what is the mitral valve supposed to be doing during systole? Yes, so consider systole as contraction of the ventricles. So during systole, the mitral valve is supposed to what? Close, so that the aortic valve can open, right? So in case of mitral regurgitation, during systole, the mitral valve is supposed to close, but it doesn't close. So when it doesn't close, it results in a murmur. That means the murmur of mitral regurgitation should be a systolic murmur. Let's stay within the systolic phase of the cardiac cycle and think of the aortic valve. What is the aortic valve supposed to be doing during systole? It's supposed to open to let blood out into the aorta, right? But in the case of aortic stenosis, it doesn't do that. The aortic valve not opening during aortic stenosis results in little blood being pushed but with a lot of turbulence and that results in a murmur. So for example, we just use the mitral and aortic valve during systolic phase of the cardiac cycle. So during systolic phase of the cardiac cycle, the mitral valve is supposed to close and the aortic valve is supposed to open. In the case of mitral regard, it doesn't do its job, meaning it doesn't close. And in the case of aortic stenosis, it doesn't do its job, meaning it doesn't open. So both the murmurs of mitral regurgitation and aortic stenosis are systolic murmurs. Let's switch on to the diastolic phase of the cardiac cycle. During diastole, what is the mitral valve supposed to do? It's supposed to open, right, when the ventricles are relaxing to allow ventricular filling, and the aortic valve is supposed to close. But if you think of mitral stenosis, when the heart is relaxing, it doesn't open. And that causes a murmur because the, air, the left atrium now pushes blood through a narrowed uh, opening, causing turbulence and a murmur. Consider the same thing with aortic regurgitation. In aortic regurgitation, the valve doesn't really close and there's backflow of blood at the same time that the ventricles are filling from the mitral valve and that causes a murmur. So when you think about it, aortic regurgitation and mitral stenosis are diastolic murmurs. Now that you understand this concept, let's switch to the right side of the heart. Don't be confused just because we're on the right side of the heart right now, meaning we're talking about the tricuspid and the pulmonary valves, the same rules apply. So the tricuspid valve is supposed to close during systole so that the right ventricle can push blood to the lungs. That means the tricuspid valve should be closed while the pulmonary valve should be open. In cases of tricuspid regurgitation and pulmonary stenosis, these valves are not doing their work. So now consider tricuspid stenosis and pulmonary regurgitation. I'll leave you to arrive at the answer for that. What do you think the moment of tricuspid stenosis is going to be? Another thing that you need to know is if a murmur is systolic or diastolic, how do you find that out? So when you're just listening for the momo, all you need to do is auscultate and feel for the pulse at the same time. If the momo comes together with the pulse, then it's a systolic momo. And if the momo comes after the pulse, then that's a diastolic momo. So let's say you after the explanation I just given. Let's say you're auscultating over the aortic area and you're feeling for the pulse and you hear a momo that comes together with the pulse. What is the most likely momo that you're hearing? So given the explanation we did before, if you hear a systolic murmur in the aortic area, all you have to think about is, first of all, you're in the aortic area, so you know that that, that murmur either has to be aortic stenosis or aortic regurgitation, right? And given the fact that it's a systolic murmur, all you have to do is think, what is the aortic valve supposed to be doing during systole? Well, during systole, the aortic valve is supposed to open to allow blood to be pushed out, right? But if it doesn't open, it's not doing its job because it's a murmur. And in what situation does the aortic valve not open? The aortic stenosis. It's really that easy, guys. It's really not hard. So just if you understand the explanation I've given before, just go revise over it. If you don't understand, just rewind the video and watch the explanation all over again. Try to practice. This will significantly help you, whether it's a CBT or an OSCE. I promise you.